So fake news and alternative facts have been a prominent issue over the last year, and a lot of people have been asking, what do we do about it? Does science have an answer to science denial? And the answer is yes. Uh, and the answer comes from a branch of psychological research called inoculation theory. This is based on the idea of vaccination. We, vac we vaccinate people by exposing them to a weak form of a virus. This builds up immunity, and then when they encounter a real virus, they don't get infected. What inoculation theory has found is if you expose people to a weak form of misinformation, they build up immunity, and when they encounter the actual misinformation, they don't get influenced. So what do I mean by a weak form of misinformation? In inoculation theory, an inoculating text has two elements. It's a, a warning of the threat that you'll be misled and counter-arguments explaining the techniques that the, the misinformation uses to distort the facts. So in my research, I ran an experiment where I took one group and I showed them misinformation about climate change. And what I found was this graph shows change in perceptions about climate change. And they go down. Misinformation works. The horizontal axis in this graph is political ideology. Left is more left-wing, right is more right-wing. And I found that people who were more politically conservative were more influenced by misinformation about climate change. Uh, for another group in my um, experiment, I showed them some inoculating text uh, before I showed them the misinformation. And what I found was the misinformation was completely neutralised. And a key feature of this data is that this happened across the political ideology. Whether you're liberal or whether you're conservative, people don't like to be misled. When you explain the secret of a magic trick, people no longer uh, get taken in by the magician. Now, as well as researching inoculation, I've also been putting this into practice, and we developed a massive open online course, or a MOOC, uh, about climate science denial. And there were two goals in this MOOC. One was to explain the science of climate change. The other was to explain the techniques of climate science denial. And the way we did this was we had a series of lectures, video lectures. Each lecture would explain one climate fact then introduce people to a related myth, um, a, a climate uh, piece of misinformation, and then we would explain the technique that the myth used to distort the climate fact. So over these 50 lectures, we would introduce people to the science of climate change, but we'd also inoculate them against the 50 of the most common um, myths about climate change as well. Uh, inoculation has been shown through a whole range of studies to be a really powerful one of the most powerful ways to educate people about science. If we inoculate students against misinformation, then potentially we can eradicate science denial in the same way that we've eradicated polio.